I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Quickly Play Magical Brickout. This game is given to me as a review copy, and it's a bit of a spin, if you will, on the Breakout game of Brick Breakers. So we'll go ahead and play, and uh, I've already gone through the first few levels. I will just go ahead and continue on with the game. Uh, the first level, essentially, is just a tutorial, and uh, the game's simple enough. Now the game also does have cutscenes, at least it starts out with a cutscene about these fairies that are stolen by an evil wizard or some such, and then you get these things at the beginning of every level. I feel like the story is actually unnecessary, but, you know, it's kind of a nice touch, I guess. It's a little bit more effort. So, essentially, all you do is play Breakout um, while trying to spin the playing field. And the longer you keep the ball in play, and hitting useful things, those blue, fuck me, bricks, uh, the larger your bonus gets. The blue bricks actually have stolen fairies in them, or kidnapped fairies, however you want to look at that. Fairies are people too, fuck me. Um, and that is essentially what ends a level, is when you break all of the blue bricks. I'm not doing a very good job here of... What is that? We'll see if we can't hit him. Wow, that was really dumb. Fuck. So the game is actually, in my opinion, kind of challenging in that you have to have a, a little bit more awareness of the angle of your bounce than you would in just regular breakout. Because you have to know rotationally where your brick is going to end up, and whether or not it will actually hit the ball. I did terribly this round. That's okay, we're just going to continue on. No major bonuses. So yeah, the story, at this point, we are trying to enter the wizard's castle, I guess. I'm not uh, at all interested in the dialogue. It just kind of slows the pace down a little bit. That's a good bunch. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. So as I said, this does offer a little bit of a, of a difference. A little bit of a, a new challenge, I guess, from your typical breakout clone. Which, um... Really? Which, uh... On the one hand, I appreciate in that it's not just another basic clone of, uh, of this game. I myself have used Breakout um, as a, an early learning game for game development. And uh, I think it is, as far as uh, learning the basics of physics, game physics, uh, it's a good game for that. And so it's, it's kind of refreshing in a way to see that uh, a game is trying to take those old formulas and improve upon them, which in my opinion is uh, what a lot more indie developers need to do, uh, rather than just copy a game and, uh, and clone it. There needs to be a lot more added to it. There needs to be added value to make it something worthwhile, especially uh, in a game like this where you would actually pay for it. This is actually kind of frustrating. Okay, we got one. Oh, cry many. So I'm getting my big bonuses because I've filled up the bonus part. Ah, I didn't get that one, obviously. So we'll rotate this to my advantage here. This is also why I'm not a very good pool player. No! Nope. Dang it. Just hammer it out of the playing field. There. Finally. That was my own undoing on a lot of this, but, uh... I don't know, that's a pretty good time, I think. Yeah, three stars. Still haven't killed the troll. Just keep going on. Nice. All right. So this is all within 
the world won. I will be interested to see what new mechanics are added in as the game progresses. That's a good combo. Uh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Obviously, it behooves me... I Wow, I was not paying attention. It behooves me to, uh, to clear those fairy blocks as quickly as possible so I don't have to worry too much about chasing after... I don't know why I did that. Chasing after the ball. But, um... Are you kidding me? I don't know where I'm going with this right now. Let's try and kill that thing. No, nope, not quite. Okay, there's one more. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, now I'm getting nervous here. Okay, I want to turn this... Ah, I almost had it. Almost caught it. That's okay. We'll get it this time. So we said we're almost there. I wonder if there is such a thing as a boss. We'll find out. I would just like to believe that there's a little bit more to the game than even this. Oh my. So the answer uh, is no, it's just story-based levels. Again, another little bit of effort that you don't really see. Um, I don't know that's entirely necessary. Ooh, I have multiple balls. Multi-ball. This is going to go well, I'm sure. Um, uh, yeah, so as I was saying, not necessarily uh, something needed for this kind of game, but again, it does just add that extra little thing. It's that extra little bit of value that is added to what would otherwise be a bland and overdone uh, game type. Ow. Okay. Well, that wasn't bad. That was a pretty good run. If only I could... There we go. Get the rest of these pretty easily. Oh, you bastard. So, I'm going to have to knock that probably out through the back way and have it bounce. There we, there we go. Okay, the dead tree. Let's see if this doesn't progress a little bit further. I suppose these must have been... Oh, no, boss defeated. Cool. So let's see what comes next. Just a big old cutscene. Eh, we're gonna skip it. Well, anyway, uh, on and on it goes. See if there are any new bricks. Doesn't look like there are any. Well, those fire bricks. Let's find out what the fire bricks do. Try and break through to one of them. Um. I. Wow. I don't know. I don't know what that was supposed to have do, done. And I just shot the ball right out. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah. So, magical brick out. As I've said, nice little. Spin, we'll use that joke again, on uh, the, the classic arcade game. I think I've given plenty of justification for uh, why I think this is acceptable. You know, just, just adding more value to, uh, to something rather than just straight-up clone. I think that is key to any aspiring game developer. You know, don't just take something and make it to uh, j just for the sake of learning. I mean, push it a little bit more and see what you can add to it. That's uh, that's kind of nice. So anyway, I'll end this one here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next Let's Play.